All right, what's up everyone? I'm Faloki, and today we're going to be taking a look at a recap of the Week 16 matchup between the now 11-4 Seattle Seahawks and the 9-6 LA Rams. This Week 16 game against the Rams, who are going to be making the playoffs, was a very good sign for the Seahawks. They show that they can put together long drives and that they can play some pretty good defense. And that's exactly what they did to win this game. They won it pretty convincingly. Although it was only 20-9, to it was definitely a dominant victory for the Seahawks. It just looked like they were in control the entire game, or at least the entire second half. The first half, it was pretty neck and neck. I believe halftime was 6-6, to and then the Seahawks just completely dominated the second half. Right around the end of the third quarter, going into the fourth quarter, Jared Goff hit his hand on a Seahawks player's helmet, which of course is not a good sign for a quarterback, and it looked like he may or may not have broke his thumb. He probably dislocated it at the very least, but it did not look good and he really didn't look like he was able to do anything from there so he'll probably be out a week or two or hopefully he'll be back at least for the playoffs for the rams sake but i mean that did make the job easier for the seahawks but at that point the seahawks had a lot of momentum and the rams really just couldn't get anything going even before jared guff you know hurt his hand so i think that really wasn't too big of a turning point in the game i think we kind of had the game wrapped up either way but this was a really good defensive game for the Seahawks. Jamal Adams played really well. He had a couple pass breakups, which one of them should have been an interception. But, you know, he had a little thing on his finger because uh, last week he hurt his finger. So, you know, maybe that impeded his ability to catch. Quandre Diggs had an interception because Jared Goff threw it just to the middle of nowhere. And Quandre Diggs happened to be there. And, I mean, really not too much happened this game. We had Alton Robinson getting a lot more snaps. That's what I noticed. He had some nice plays. We had DJ Reed continue to play really well. Ugo Amadi had some plays. And Jaron Reed, he played really well for us, too, on the defensive line. But he did go out later in the game. Hopefully, he is okay. That might be something flaring back up with his chest issue that kept him out of practice a little bit this week. But he did end up playing the game. He did do really well. But hopefully, he'll be okay with whatever he was dealing with at the time. The best defensive showing that I saw from the Seahawks this game, or maybe even the whole season, was their huge goal line stand to start the sequence the rams ran it five yards away from the end zone and they only got four yards because jamal adams wrapped around from behind and he was just super lightning quick he was the only guy that could have got there could have easily been a touchdown but jamal adams caught up to daryl henderson i believe and just stopped him one yard away this did lead to a first and goal which of course you'd expect them to go uh you know run the ball multiple times first and goal from the one get a touchdown However, Jordan Brooks was making plays, our defensive line was making plays, Jamal Adams was making plays, got a huge stop on first down, huge stop on second down, third down, I believe they quarterback sneaked because they were one yard away from the end zone still, didn't get it, and then they quarterback sneaked again on fourth down, and I mean, they didn't get it. We just absolutely stopped them. I don't believe they actually quarterback sneaked. I believe it was a normal run on fourth down, but Jordan Brooks and Jamal Adams made about six plays in a six play span. You know, they were just absolutely everywhere. Jordan Brooks had some great tackles, just just stood up some guys. Jamal Adams on the fourth down, I believe he's the guy that had the tackle that just stopped all the momentum and stopped the guy from getting to the end zone. And I mean, this was just a great showing by the Seahawks defense. Just a, an amazing goal line stand. Something similar to uh, how it was against the Patriots where we won the game off of a final play where, you know, they had that quarterback draw about six times that game and it worked every single time. But then the one time that it mattered, we actually stopped them. It, it was very comparable to that. And it was super nice to see Jamal Adams making plays and Jordan Brooks making plays looking like one of the best first round picks we've had in the last decade. But now to take a look at some of the stats, Russell Wilson completed 20 of his 32 passing attempts for 225 yards, one touchdown and no interceptions. He did also have a rushing touchdown, but he was sacked five times on the day. He had a couple overthrows. He had a couple missed throws, but overall, this was a really good day for Russell Wilson. You can't really complain. You know, maybe he should have been a little bit more efficient with his passing attempts. 12, you know, incompletions is a bit much for Russell Wilson, especially on such a low attempts. But really, I mean, it didn't really matter. We started to take some shots and we didn't really get too many of them. But we had a really good day. He had a big overthrow on DK Metcalf, which could have definitely been a touchdown. He threw it a bit outside when he should have thrown it inside. And I mean, it's just unfortunate. We had some plays that could have been really huge earlier on in the game, but we just weren't really getting anything going. But it doesn't really matter. We came out with the win. Russell Wilson completely outplayed Jared Goff. Jared Goff completed 24 of his 43 attempts for 234 yards. He didn't have a touchdown and he threw a really bad interception. He was sacked three times on the day. Just not a good day for Jared Goff. And that's what I mentioned in the preview. He can have games where he does really well or he he can have games where he just completely doesn't do anything and hurts the team actually so this was definitely one of the games where jared goff came out and decided he just wanted to hurt the rams and he wanted to play like absolute trash the run games for both teams were pretty good today the rams had 29 carries for 118 yards they didn't have a touchdown but it was still pretty good the seahawks had 24 carries for 95 yards so i mean really both teams were doing pretty good nothing too crazy but you know it was really just a matter of two really good run games that did pretty well and then russell wilson outplayed jared goff that's why the seahawks won and 
I mean, that's kind of what you expected this game if the Seahawks were to win. Defensively, I've already mentioned it a lot. The Seahawks defense played absolutely amazing this game. We had basically everyone that was starting have some really nice plays. Shaquille Griffin had some plays. And I mean, really, we were just doing really good on defense. And I mean, the Rams, they weren't doing bad. Aaron Donald was making problems. Jalen Ramsey was shutting down DK when he was guarding him. DK Metcalf was motioning away from him and getting some nice plays. So the Seahawks, they definitely wanted to get DK off of Jalen Ramsey. And I mean, it did work, but you, know, you kind of want to see Jalen Ramsey and DK go one-on-one, -on -one, especially when there was a play where it was DK Metcalf, Jalen Ramsey, one-on-one -on -one in the end zone, which in my preview, I said, we have to throw those up. We have to give DK those opportunities. And they just didn't throw it. And I believe DK could have won that. He had inside leverage. And I, I think he could have made the play, but we just didn't give him the opportunity. Kind of disappointed about that. But I mean, the Rams defense, they didn't play bad at all. We just, you know, had more good plays than the Rams offense did. Jared Goff didn't play well. Russell Wilson played well. That's kind of how you expected this game to go, at least for the offense. I did think the Seahawks could lose this game because I thought the Rams would come out just playing absolutely amazing after losing to the Jets. But apparently losing to the Jets really just hurts your ego and it makes you play even worse the next game. But overall, this was just a really good game for the Seahawks offensively, defensively, and in the special teams aspect. Just a really good game for the Seahawks just in general. Not too much to talk about when it comes to the game. I mean, Jamal Adams and Quandre Diggs kind of recreated a play by Cam Chancellor and uh, Earl Thomas. I, I mean, it, it kind of close. It was a tight end. You know, Jamal Adams had a nice pass breakup. Could have been an interception. Cam Chancellor had a nice pass breakup against Rob Gronkowski. Quandre Diggs came in, hit the tight end hard after, you know, Jamal Adams had the pass breakup. And then, you know, back in the day, Earl Thomas hit Rob Gronkowski hard after uh, Cam Chancellor had a pass breakup. So it was pretty similar. That was pretty fun to see. I can't play it because of copyright issues, but I mean, it, it, you'll probably be able to find it. It's probably going to be like everywhere on the, you know, highlight pages for this, for anyone, for the Seahawks, just Bleacher Report, anything like that. But it, it, that was definitely interesting to see. But the main thing that comes from this game is playoff seeding. Of course, with this game, the Seahawks ended up winning the NFC West. So that does mean we're going to be the minimum of the three seed we could go up to two or one with the Packers and the Saints losing in week 17 which honestly doesn't seem too likely because the Saints play the Panthers and the Packers play the Bears but the Bears do have a lot to play for so maybe they'll come out and have a really good game against the Packers because I mean I think the Bears if they win this game against the Packers they get the seventh seed and that would mean that you know the two seed would play them so if the Saints win and the Packers lose to the Bears then the Seahawks would most likely play the Bears in the first round with home field advantage if both teams lose the Seahawks get the one seed if both teams win the Seahawks are going to get the three seed so either way the Seahawks are going to have home field advantage throughout the playoffs at least for the first week but I mean either way we made the playoffs we won the NFC West this was just a really good week for the Seahawks and going into next week against the 49ers who still are dealing with quite a bit of injuries most likely we're going to be fine we're going to be making the playoffs having good seating and I'd assume we're going to do good in the playoffs because home field advantage is huge for the Seahawks even without fans the Seahawks play a lot better at home you see the Rams game the first game we played in LA and we played absolutely horrible this game we just completely dominated at home so Honestly, I'd expect us to do well in the playoffs, even if we do have a much tougher matchup. But if we get the three seed, most likely we'll play the Rams. If we get the two seed, we'll play the Bears. We'll, we'll probably have an easy matchup or the Cardinals if the Bears don't beat the Packers. But we'll see what happens next week. That's going to be a big week. We're going to have to root for the Bears and the Panthers, and we're going to have to root for the Seahawks, of course, if we want the Seahawks to get the number one seed. But good game for the Seahawks. Not too much to talk about here. Defense played really well. Offense played well enough to get the job done. Special teams, Michael Dixon still having some crazy long punts. Jason Myers still perfect on field goals. Really good for our special teams. Really good for our defense. Really good for our offense. Overall, really good game to see. Seahawks, this is definitely something that really uh, is going to show what we can do going into the playoffs against a really good defense. But of course, we're probably going to be playing offenses that are going to perform a lot better than Jared Goff did today. But with that, that's going to do it for this video. Like I said, really good win for the Seahawks. I believe this shows what we can do in the playoffs against good defenses and good offenses. I think that we can compete with just about anybody. But let me know down below in the comments what you thought about this game. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you are new. And with that, I'd like to thank you for watching. Have a great day.